The other big story tonight, businesses are usually packed with people celebrating St. Patrick's Day weekend. Tonight, that's not the case because of the pandemic. Thanks for watching. I'm Ryan Houston. Pittsburgh officials said they will not hesitate to shut those places down if they violated the rules. Channel 11 Serafina James shows us how different things are. It's noticeably quiet here on the south side, especially for St. Patrick's Day. Usually the streets are crowded, but this year you won't find a crowd, but you still will find a heavy police presence. Pittsburgh police were out in full force on Carson Street this St. Patrick's Day weekend, patrolling on foot and horseback. Earlier this week, they made it clear there's a zero tolerance policy for disruptive behavior. Been quiet, which has been nice. So everyone I feel like is respecting the rules with the bars and everything going on. Nadine's on the south side, like other bars, are operating at 50% capacity. Bar owner Matthew Volker tells us because of the canceled parade, COVID restrictions and safety guidelines in place, this party holiday has been tame. And it's nice to like sit here and have a nice, easy, smooth day. Ahead of the holiday, Allegheny County officials asked residents to refrain from large gatherings and the CDC recommended people celebrate virtually. One Southside bar goer tells me not having crowds around this year was a welcome change of pace. It is very low key and relaxed and it's nice just to be able to be out and feel normal. But for some, the latest restrictions and guidelines around the holiday are just a buzzkill. I think that's a little, a little harsh on the people, don't you think? Keep everything going, keep everybody happy. In Pittsburgh, Serafina James, Channel 11 News.